I got plastic surgery. I haven't really been keeping it a secret, but I also haven't shared it on YouTube. I posted a little bit about it on my TikTok. I'm officially one month post-op today. This is how we're looking. Can you see anything different? Can you tell anything's different? No, if the answer is no, I won. I got exactly what I wanted. I told the surgeon I wanted to look exactly the same, just more rested, a little bit better. Because the surgery I got was a lower blepharoplasty, which is basically a lower eyelid lift. And in good lighting like this, um, you really can't tell any difference whatsoever. But basically what this surgery does is it removes fat from underneath your eyelid. So in this eye pad right here, I'm gonna insert a photo of me in not so flattering light on a bad day. <laughs> I'm only 24 in this photo. Um, there is no reason I need to be looking like this at 24. I had genetic fat pads underneath my eyes. And so basically, no matter how much sleep I got, how well rested I was, how much water I drank, this fat was just always there. And so I just always looked puffy and tired. So that's what this surgery specifically was for. Uh, I have had these eye bags my entire life. I was literally like eight years old putting spoons in my eyes because someone told me that I looked tired um, before school. And guess what, did it work? No, it didn't. But yeah, that's why I got it. That's exactly what I had done. I filmed my whole recovery process. So roll the tapes. I woke up wanting caviar. Caviar on a French fry. <laughs> Where are you gonna get that? Surgery update number one. I, what time is it? 2.30? I've been home a couple of hours. I wanted to vlog me like leaving leaving the um you couldn't even speak mm -hmm. <laughs> no couldn't speak i still can't really speak um i'm not supposed to put my head on the side which i find extremely difficult as a side sleeper so i've put this here to try and stop me from the surgery went well i woke up and all i wanted was caviar on a potato chip with sour cream which is a so ridiculously bougie and, and two, unprecedented. I don't think I've ever even eaten that. Yeah. Like, I've had caviar, but I definitely never you're not, had it. You're not a caviar girly. I am, but I, I never had it on a potato chip. And so I don't know why I woke up craving something that I've never even eaten. Um, So that was interesting. I'm definitely very sleepy. I'm kind of in and out. I've been watching Love Island All-Stars. I was literally saving it because they just put it on Peacock. And I was like, I'm going to save that for when I need this, which is right now eyes honestly don't look anywhere near as bad as I expected. It literally just looks like I had an allergic reaction or something. I don't even, wouldn't say it looks like I had surgery. Do you think? No, but I think most people are going to be really confused because you're like, I just came out of surgery to get my eye bags removed and now your eye bags are bigger than ever right now because they don't I understand know. the process. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically because um, they have to lift up the skin. They have to separate your skin from your fat pad right here. Uh, which is usually stuck together. And so, because it's not stuck together anymore, it fills with fluid. The body fills it with fluid. Um, and then the fluid's gonna go away. He said within two weeks, hopefully, the fluid. He said one week for bruising and two weeks for the fluid and the swelling to go down. Technically, my final results will be in three months, but he said I should be pretty much good to go in two weeks. So, we'll see. Also literally woke up from the surgery to find out that Lewis Hamilton is going to Ferrari. I thought I was dreaming. I thought I was still in surgery. I was like, wow, this is one hell of a lucid dream. Like it's taken me four hours since I woke up to conceptualize that Lewis Hamilton is leaving Mercedes and going to Ferrari. I still don't think I understand. I definitely don't understand what this means for everyone else. Okay, night one update. I just realized I do actually have a vlogging camera. I'm not using it. I managed some spaghetti bolognese for dinner. My eyes are looking 10 times worse than they did earlier, but it's to be expected. The only annoying thing is that I can't ice. Let me pause this. I can't ice my eyes because there's two different kinds of, I mean, there's more than two, but um, with the lower blepharoplasty, you can either just get fat removed or what I got is I got some fat removed and then I got some fat um, moved. So I got it taken from the bag and placed in this crease right here so to help with the hollowing um but unfortunately because that fat isn't attached to my skin like it was before you can cut off the blood supply and it can be absorbed into the body if you ice it i think i think i think um but basically the surgeon said because that fat isn't like stuck to my skin it's basically just floating in there right now if i ice it my body might absorb that fat which we don't want so 
no icing for me. So I just look, like, look, it's like 3D. Crazy. Uh, FaceTime my mum. She's actually less annoyed at me than I thought because I didn't tell her I was going to do this. Because <laughs> I thought she was going to tell me no. I thought she was going to be so angry at me. But she was actually a lot more chill than I expected, which I was relieved about. My plan for sleeping upright, I have three pillows currently. I very much am a face down sleeper, which means there's going to be a rough few days for me. Night two. The eye packs are eye packing. I feel fine. I honestly have no pain. Haven't even taken a Tylenol today. Uh, definitely really itchy and just like maybe, I don't know if the right word is stings. It's not comfortable, but I wouldn't call it pain. Vision is not visioning, but that's because of the ointment. Every time I put the ointment in, I can't see for like half an hour afterwards because you have to put the ointment actually inside your eyes so that it gets down to your uh, incision. But yeah, otherwise fine. I've got my dog Terse here to take care of me. Smooth sailing so far. Had my post up today. He said everything looks good. He showed me a photo of all the fat that he took out. That was horrifying. I don't know if I'll put it on the internet because I feel like that might be, that might be a bit too gory for general consumption, but it was pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to see what he pulled out of there. I slept okay last night. I didn't sleep amazing, but I slept, which is more than I expected. Evening all, it is day four. It's Monday night. I had it done on Thursday. I thought I'd check in on the old eyes. The yellowing has entered the chat. Yesterday it was even worse. Yesterday it was very much yellow. The swelling I do think is going down. I'm just putting in my ointment for the evening. And I've also started putting just a little bit of eye cream on the skin right here because I don't have any incisions. So there's no reason I can't put any cream as long as it doesn't get too close to my waterline. General symptom update. I still haven't had any pain. I I haven't taken any painkillers since pretty much I left the hospital. Um, never got any. So that is a win. And I've been waking up with terrible back pain because I'm not used to sitting upright. So hate that, can't wait for that to be over. It's itchy, it's irritating, but nothing unmanageable. It's like, I give it like a three out of 10, annoying. Um, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna try and do my hair because honestly, I feel like the hair is making me look 10 times worse than necessary. I am... Um... Nine days post-op today. I have my surgery on Thursday and it's Saturday the following week, eight or nine. This is where we're at. The bruising has pretty much cleared up on this side. I have a little bit of stubborn bruising on this side. That's an eyelash, but I'm feeling good. I feel pretty much back to normal in terms of me. I took my first hair wash shower today where it didn't hurt when the water got in my eyes. My eyes feel pretty much back to normal. I don't have any itchiness anymore. Worked out for the first time today, they said a little bit of light exercise is fine as long as you don't start going to like Barry's boot camp or something. But yeah, I'm feeling so excited. I can definitely vouch that the, the one week downtime from surgery is about right. I'm hoping tomorrow is the Super Bowl and I think I'm gonna dip my toe into putting a little bit of makeup. I don't wanna risk putting mascara or eyeshadow on until I've seen the doctor, but I'm pretty confident that I can put face makeup and concealer on. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling very excited about these eyes. But yeah, and now I am one month post-op. I got the surgery on February 1st and it is March 1st today. I am really happy with my results so far. My official results is three months post-op. So I definitely do still experience some puffiness in the mornings because it does still fill with fluid. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it looked. I'm gonna try and answer some of the FAQs that I've been getting a lot. Number one, I'm pretty sure I covered this. I never experienced any pain. It was not painful in the slightest just itchy it kind of just felt like i had something in my eye all the time now a month later it's completely gone away my eyes feel completely normal number two where did i go i went to dr johnson lee in beverly hills he, he specializes in blepharoplasty and lower blepharoplasty so yeah that's where i went i paid the full amount there's no ad happening <laughs> but that's where i went the common question was why get this instead of filler because you can get filler just inserted in this tear trough there's a couple of reasons i didn't do that number one filler you have to get it topped up this is a long-term problem i'm always gonna have and filler is just kind of a quick fix and it can also create more issues in the long run because filler can then migrate down here end up making you look more puffy and more tired and making it look worse and then you can get it dissolved and have to get it re-put in and it can also end up blocking your tear trough and under eye filler can just cause lots of issues whereas this was kind of like a one more permanent this is permanent these results are going to last forever i'll continue to age normally i won't ever have to get this redone or anything yeah that just made more sense for me but yeah i'm definitely happy i did it so far maybe keep watching me for the next couple of months to see if my eyes look any different in another two months when i get my official results this was my lower blepharoplasty journey because 
I want it to be transparent. I don't want to lie to you guys. I don't want you to see me when I'm like 35 and I have no bags under my eyes and you're like, hmm, I have bags and she doesn't. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that, yeah, that's because I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's my blepharoplasty vlog.